40s made American fashion soar, but the 60s sent it into space. The 60s was a decade where the two words polyester and chic existed in the same sentence. Nightlife in the 70s was all about instant satisfaction. Fashion was the Viagra of its day. I think Holston summed it up best when he said that fashion was made by fashionable people. I think of um, platform shoes, I think of uh, safety pins, I think of um, lots of uh, wonderful, weird and gorgeous fashion. I think that American designers have always understood the importance of branding. They know that fashion is more important than just clothes. It's about lifestyle. To wear American fashion is really to live the American dream. In fact, I blame my addiction to shopping on American designers. My love affair with American fashion started in the early 80s when I was a fashion design student and I came to New York for the first time to visit friends who were working for Donna and for Calvin. It could have been my fate, but in fact what happened was I realised I was never going to be a great designer. But I think that sort of proves that I have the good judgement to be an editor. And I have never lost that passion I feel for fashion and in particular the American designers. It's an addiction that I'm happy to have. American fashion is in great shape. It had to face the recession, it had quick liposuction, a dose of Botox and it's never looked better. It has the body of Giselle, it has the mind of Madonna and it has the popularity of Julia Roberts. But ultimately, I think American fashion is dollar-shaped. <laughs>